Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Hello and welcome to English for Arabs. English for Arabs is English for all. These are the words of Unit 16. Part 2 Interchange 3 4th edition 11 A doctor who has special training in medical care for children 13 Multilingual Able to speak more than two languages Bilingual Two languages Bilingual A person who is able to speak two languages Multilingual a person who is able to speak more than two languages. Fluent. Fluent. Able to use the language naturally without stopping or making mistakes. Without stopping or making mistakes. Diverse. Varied. Different. Polyglot. British poly. American poly. Polyglot. Able to speak many languages. Promote. Encourage. Claims. Says. Says that something is true or that you've done something. Circumnavigation. Circumnavigation. Going around the world. Usually in a boat. Nautical. American nautical. T soft D between two vowels. Nautical. Relating to boats or sailing. Obtained. Obtained. Got. American. Got. British. Got. Got something. Underprivileged. 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 Poor and having fewer opportunities than most people. Empower. Give someone the confidence, skills, or freedom to do something. Empower, give someone the confidence, skills, or freedom to do something. Philosophy, belief, way of thinking. Exercise number nine, conversation. I've managed to get good grades, but now look at the picture here. What do you see? A cake, 21, maybe 21 years old. Maybe this is a birthday party. We have here balloons. One hundred nine exercise nine conversation. I've managed to get good grades, but part A. Listen and practice. Happy birthday, Allison. So, how does it feel to be twenty one? Kind of strange. I suddenly feel a little anxious, like I'm not moving ahead fast enough. But don't you think you've accomplished quite a bit in the last few years? Oh, I've managed to get good grades, but I still haven't been able to decide on a career. Well, what do you hope you'll have achieved by the time you're 30? For one thing, I hope I'll have seen more of the world. But more important than that, I'd like to have made a good start on my career by then. Happy birthday, happy. Happy birthday, Allison. So how does it feel to be 21? 
How do you feel? When you're 21 years old, kind of strange. I suddenly feel a little anxious. Anxious, worried. I'm not moving ahead fast enough. But don't you think you've accomplished quite a bit in the last few years? But don't you think? Don't, T silent. I can make don't you? Don't. Don't you think? Don't you think you've you have you have you've accomplished accomplished achieved you've achieved quite a bit in the last few years oh i've managed to get good grades i've managed to good to get good grades good marks but i still haven't been able to decide on a career but i t soft d but i still haven't been able to decide to choose a career to choose a job well what do you hope you'll you'll have achieved by the time you're 30 what do you hope what do you hope you'll have achieved you'll have accomplished by the time you're 30 years old after nine years from now for one thing for one thing i hope i'll have seen more of the world but more important than that, I'd like to have made a good start on my career by then. So, I hope. I hope I'll have seen more of the world. I hope I'll visited different countries. But more important than that, I'd like to have made a good start on my career by then. I'd like, I want, I want. I want to have I want to have made a good start on my job. Now let's answer some questions. How old is Allison? Allison is 21 years old now. How does she feel? Kind of strange. She suddenly feels a little anxious. Why Allison feels? Why does she feel anxious? Because she's not moving ahead. She's not moving ahead fast enough. What has Alison accomplished in the last few years? She has managed to get good grades. What does she hope she'll have achieved by the time she's 30 years old? She hopes she'll have seen more of the world. And She'd like to have made a good start on her career. Page 109, Exercise 10, Grammar Focus. Accomplishments and Goals. Accomplishments with the present perfect or simple past. I've managed to get good grades. I managed to get good grades. I've been able to accomplish a lot in college. I was able to accomplish a lot in college. Goals with the future perfect or would like to have plus past participle. What do you hope you'll have achieved? I hope I'll have seen more of the world. I'd like to have made a good start on my career. Page 109, exercise 10 grammar focus. Accomplishments and goals. Accomplishments with the present perfect or simple past. I've managed to get good grades. So here we use the present perfect. The present perfect subject has have plus past participle pp. Or I can use the simple past. I managed to. I managed to get good grades. We use the present perfect to talk about some achievements in the last five years for her. Or something in the past, use a simple past. Subject, verb, plus DED or IED. I've been able to accomplish a lot in college. I was able to. Goals with the future perfect or would you like to have plus past participle. We use this to talk about our goals for the future. What do you hope? What do you hope you'll have achieved? What do you? What do you hope you'll have achieved? What do you hope you'll have plus past participle? 
pp. I hope. I hope I'll have seen more of the world. So I hope I'll have plus pass passport. I'd like to have made a good start on my career. I'd like to have plus pass passport. Talk about the future. I'd like to. I won't. I'd like to have made a good start on my career. Hello again and welcome to the Interchange Book 3 video series. Today we're going to do Unit 16. And in Unit 16 we're going to talk about accomplishments and goals. Now accomplishments are things you have done in your life. Things that you are proud of. So big things that you have done. And goals are things that you want to do eventually. So aspirations and things that you want to do eventually. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at our grammar today. Now, after listening to that conversation, we heard Grandpa Joe talk about some of his accomplishments in the past. So remember, accomplishments are things that you have done that you are proud of, things that were important for you, and things that you did in the past. Okay? Those are accomplishments. So when we use accomplishments, we often use these two verbs. We say manage to, and the main verb, and also be able to, and the main verb. And when we use this in connection with the main verb, it makes our sentence sound like it is to be fortunate to do something, so that we are fortunate or that we are lucky to do that. Okay? Almost like it was difficult to do, not easy to do, but we did it. So we were fortunate to do something, right? So let's look at some of the accomplishments he used. Now, using the simple past tense, he says, I managed to start my own business. And here we're using that managed to in the past tense to talk about starting his own business. Now, he was fortunate to start his own business. It was an important thing for him, right? Or he said, I was able to graduate college. Again, here we're using that be able to in the past tense with was. Was able to, and then the base form of the verb, graduate. And that means that graduating college was something important for him, okay? Or maybe it wasn't exactly easy for him to do, but he did it. So those are the examples where we just use the simple past tense to talk about accomplishments using managed to and was able to. Now, if I have a recent or even maybe a current accomplishment, something that I'm still doing, right, I can use the present perfect for that. So remember, the present perfect is have or has, depending on the subject, and then the past participle for the main verb. So let's look at what this looks like. He said, I have been able to take a boat trip in the Mediterranean. So that was a recent accomplishment, not that long ago. So here I'm using the present perfect. I have been, right, able to. So remember, I'm using my have for the auxiliary. And from be and be able to, I'm using the past participle of be. So I'm saying, I have been able to take. And take is in the normal base form verb, just like we did up here. So I've been able to take a boat trip in the Mediterranean is a recent accomplishment, okay? What about this one? I've managed to take my grandkids on fishing trips, okay? So in this context, it's something that he still does. He does this every summer, and he's using the present perfect with the auxiliary have, and then the past participle of manage, which is managed, and then, of course, the base form of the verb. So I've managed to take my grandkids on fishing trips is an accomplishment that he is still doing. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at goals for the future. So if we remember, goals are things that you want to do one day, things you aspire to do, things that you want to accomplish in the future, eventually. So those are goals. 
Now, we can talk about our goals just using the basic future by saying things like this. I hope I will go to New Zealand one day, right? So that's the basic future. I will go, right, to New Zealand one day. But one day is very general. I want to know when. When do you want to go to New Zealand? When will you accomplish this? Now, if I want to be specific about this, I can use a different form of the future, and I can say something like this. I hope I will have gone to New Zealand before I'm old. So now I know when. Before I'm old, I hope I will have gone to New Zealand. And this type of future, will have gone, is what we call the future perfect. And the future perfect is specific, it's very specific for when something will be completed in the future, right? So, let's look at equation for the future perfect. We use will, or we can use would like to. Then we use the perfect tense, which is have for the auxiliary, and a past participle. But what's important to know about the future perfect is that you need to talk about a second action in the future. Just like here we said, before I'm old, right? We need to use some sort of reference of a second thing that happens after the future perfect. So for example, by the time and before we both use for a time or an action in the future. So we use before to say before I'm old. Or you could say by the time I am 50. We so that's very important to know that when I use the future perfect, right, I'm using the future perfect as a first action that happens. So if I say, I hope I will have gone, that's my first action. I hope I will have gone to New Zealand before and then my second action. And before is when I'm talking about before I'm old. And that's the second action, right? So before I'm old, I hope I will have gone to New Zealand. That's how we use the future perfect. But we can say this in a different way. We could say, I would like to have gone to New Zealand within five years. So again, I'm just using would like to, would like to, and then the, the, the perfect tense, have gone, right? Now, when I use within five years, within is used for a duration of time in the future. So if I look at this from now into five years in the future, I'm thinking in that amount of time, in those five years, right, I would like to have gone to New Zealand. So we're using two actions when we talk about the future perfect. One is the goal that we want, or one is the thing and the action that's going to happen in the future. And that happens before our second action, or in this amount of time. So we use those with things like by the time, before, and within, or in. Okay, so I hope that was helpful in understanding how we use accomplishments and the grammar to talk about things that we did in the past or things that we have done in the past that were important for us, but also for the goals in the future, things that we want to accomplish one day, and specifically how we use that with the future perfect. All right, guys, thanks for listening, and good luck. Hey. What are some of your accomplishments from the last five years? Check through the statements that are true for you, then think four more statements about yourself. So in this exercise, if you have one of these accomplishments, you make true. I've met. I've met the person who is right for me. I've learned some important life skills. I was able to complete my degree. I've made an important career move. B. What are some goals you would like to have accomplished in the future? Complete the sentences. One, by the time by the time next year, I hope I'll have. By the time next year, I hope I'll have finished my course. I hope I'll have learned English. Three years from now, I'd like to have. Three years from now.
I'd like to have made a good career. In 10 years, I'd like to have. In 10 years, I'd like to have been a manager. By the time I'm 60, I hope I'll have. By the time I'm 60 years old, I hope I'll have. I hope I'll have had good pension. Pension, salary after the age of 60 years old. So you stay at home and you will have your salary. C. Group work. Compare your senses in part A and B. What accomplishments do you have in common? What goals? So in, in number C, I'm going to make a discussion between you and your friends to discuss your goals and achievements. Page 110, exercise 11, listening. Future plans. Listen to three young people discuss their plans for the future. What do they hope they'll have achieved by the time they are 30? 1. Rick. What do I hope I'll have achieved by the time I'm 30? Well, I hope I'll have opened my own restaurant by then. I've been working a 9 to 5 job the past two years, and I can't say it's really for me. I'd much rather work for myself and run my own place. So, I started taking cooking classes at night, and I'm getting pretty good at it. So number one, Rick. What does Rick hope that he'll have that he'll have done by the time he's thirty? Rick hopes he'll have opened his own restaurant. Rick hopes he'll have opened his own restaurant. Two. Two, Jasmine. I plan to be a doctor. I'm not in medical school now. I'm in pre-med, taking a lot of science classes. But I'm sure this is what I want to do with my life. By the time I'm 30, I hope I'll have finished medical school and will have started my career as a pediatrician. You know, a doctor who works with children. I've always loved working with kids. Jasmine hopes she'll have finished medical school and will have started her career as a pediatrician. A pediatrician? Three. Bianca. By the time I'm 30, I hope I'll have had a successful modeling career. I've already had some modeling experience, and after I graduate, I hope I can get a job with a big agency in New York or Los Angeles. I'm only 20 now, and I only like to model when I'm in my 20s. After that, I want to get married and start a family. Bianca. Bianca hopes she'll have had a successful modeling career. B. Peer work. Who do you think has the most realistic expectations? Rick, Jasmine, or Bianca? You're gonna choose. Exercise number 12. Writing. A personal statement for an application. Imagine you're applying to school or for a job that requires a personal statement. Use this question to organize your ideas, make notes, and then write a draft. So here, before you apply for the job, you should write a statement. You're going to use these questions. What has, what has your greatest accomplishment been? Has it changed you in any way? How? 2. What are some interesting or unusual facts about yourself that make you a good choice? that make you a good choice for the job or school. 3. What is something you hope to have achieved 10 years from now? When, why, and how? How will you reach this goal? Will achieving it change you? Why or why not? So, let's read this. I think my greatest accomplishment, I think my greatest achievement has been finally getting my diploma at age 30. I've been able to achieve many things in school with support of my family. And there are two things I'd really like to have achieved by the time I'm 40. First, I hope I'll have done some traveling. And then we continue to write more about this personal statement for an application. 
B. Group work. Share your statements and discuss each person's accomplishments and goals. Who has the most unusual accomplishment or goal? The most realistic, the most ambitious. So this is of course group work between you and your friends. Exercise 13. Reading. Young and gifted. Young and gifted. Scan the article. Who is happy to spend lots of time alone? Who is multilingual? Multilingual. A person who is able to speak more than two languages. Who has done community service? So now, let's start to read. Ali. Ali Burhani. Comes from Hamdan in Iran. By the age of five, he could speak French, German, and English as well as his native language, Farsi. By the age of 24, he was a fluent speaker of 19 languages, including such diverse languages as Hindi, Arabic, Turkish, and Sawahili. Diverse. Diverse, varied, different. Different languages as Hindi, Arabic, Turkish, and Sawahili. Ali says, I have always been interested in communicating with people from different nations in order to learn from them. So Ali would like to communicate with other people. I think learning languages is one of the best ways to learn about their cultures, to learn about their habits, customs, values. He has established a polyglot, American a polyglot, a polyglot able to speak many languages. He has established a polyglot center to promote multilingualism by conducting research into language learning. This is Mr. Ali. Two, the second one. A lot of people have sailed non-stop and alone, non-stop without stopping. Around the world, but Jessica Watson claims to be the first 16 years old year old to have done so. Jessica Watson claims, claim, say that something is true. Jessica Watson says that she is the first 16 year old traveled around the world alone. On May 15, 2010, she returned to Sydney, Australia after 210 days at sea. However, her claim is not recognized by the World Sailing Speed Record Council. As its name suggests, the council only considers speed records, not factors such as age. Also, the council's minimum distance to qualify for circumnavigation is 26,000 nautical miles circumnavigation going around the world usually in a boat going around the world in a boat nautical miles nautical related to sailing or boats but Jessica's wrote Jessica's way via the southern oceans was shorter than this. Her reaction to the council's decision, it really doesn't bother me. I don't care. It doesn't make me angry, bother me, annoy me. 3. At age 10, Samson Diamond joined a music project in Soweto, South Africa. So, Samson, Samson Diamond, he has a project in South Africa and picked up a violin. This is a violin. He soon became leader of the project's Basket Swato String Ensemble. 
which he plays classical music. So he became the leader of the band and the project later. He obtained a master's degree in music performance. He has also used his talent to serve poor communities in England. He also used his talent, his gift, to serve poor communities in England, Jamaica, and his home country by teaching underprivileged people how to empower themselves through music. So he tries to teach underprivileged, underprivileged, poor and having fewer opportunities, poor people how to how to empower how to empower empower to give someone the confidence skills to do something to give someone empower to give someone the confidence skills or freedom to do something he says my philosophy philosophy british american philosophy my philosophy belief way of thinking a way of thinking we can make the g silent thinking my philosophy is the further you go the further there is to go never stop searching that's his idea a read the article find the words in italics in the article then match each word with its meaning so you have the words here and you have their meanings we try to match them number one diverse Diverse means different. C, number one, C. Polyglot. Polyglot. D, speaking or using many different languages. Circumnavigation. Circumnavigation. A, sailing or flying around something. Underprivileged. 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 B, Bore not having the things most people have. So number one C, number two D, number three A, and number four B. B. Which statements are in are inferences? I. Inferences. Which are statements are which are not given? N G. One. Ali Burhani learned a lot of languages when he was a teenager. This is, of course, I, inference. He believes that culture and language are closely connected. This is, of course, restatement, R, restatement. Jessica Watson circumnavigated the world via the southern oceans, 3, R, restatement. She plans to, circ to circumnavigate the world via a longer route. Number 4. Not given. NG. 5. Samson Diamond was a fast learner on the violin. I. Entrance. He wants, he wants young people to play sports as well as music. Not given. NG. So again the answers of number B. 1. I. 2. R. 3 R 4 N G 5 I 6 N G C What personal characteristics made it possible for him or her to achieve so much? That's the end of unit number 16, Interchange 3, 4th edition. Now the homework, number 1, listen and repeat. 2, keep the words by heart. 3, answer 3 pages of unit 16 workbook, Interchange 3. For sedition. Four. Watch the video of Mr. Kyle Ralston, the grammar video. Five. Go to www.cambridge.org slash interchange your case slash. You will have more exercises. Six. Watch the video of Unit 16, Interchange 3. Finally, hope you like it, share it and subscribe. Wish you all the best luck.
help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Hello and welcome to English for Arabs. English for Arabs is English for all. These are the words of Unit 16, Part 2, Interchange 3, 4th Edition, 11. A doctor who has special training in medical care for children. 13. Multilingual. Able to speak more than two languages. Bilingual. Two languages. Bilingual. A person who is able to speak two languages. Multilingual, a person who is able to speak more than two languages. Fluent, fluent, able to use the language naturally without stopping or making mistakes. Without stopping or making mistakes. Diverse, varied, different. Polyglot, British poly, American poly. Polyglot, able to speak many languages, promote, encourage, claims, says, says that something is true or that you've done something. Circumnavigation, circumnavigation, going around the world, usually in a boat. Nautical, American nautical. T of D between two vowels. Nautical, relating to boats or sailing. Obtained, obtained, got. American, got, British, got, got something. Underprivileged, underprivileged. Underprivileged, poor and having fewer opportunities than... I only feel a little anxious, like I'm not moving ahead fast enough. But don't you think you've accomplished quite a bit in the last few years? Oh, I've managed to get good grades, but I still haven't been able to decide on a career. Well, what do you hope you'll have achieved by the time you're 30? For one thing, I hope I'll have seen more of the world. But more important than that, I'd like to have made a good start on my career by then. Happy birthday, happy. Happy birthday, Allison. So how does it feel to be 21? How do you feel? When you're 21 years old, kind of strange. I suddenly feel a little anxious, anxious, worried. I'm not moving ahead fast enough. But don't you think you've accomplished quite a bit in the last few years? But do you think? Don't T silent. I can make most people empower. Give someone the confidence, skills, or freedom to do something. Empower. Give someone the confidence, skills, or freedom to do something. Philosophy, belief, way of thinking. Exercise number nine. Conversation. I've managed to get good grades, but. Now look at the picture here. What do you see? A cake. 21, maybe 21 years old. Maybe this is a birthday party. We have here balloons. One hundred nine exercise nine conversation. I've managed to get good grades, but. Part A. Listen and practice. Happy birthday, Allison. So, how does it feel to be 21? Kind of strange. I said... Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. Incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, 
Your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can